I was a young, skinny 13 year old working in the fields. Rosa Carballo says she spent her summers in Washington picking blueberries and cherries, where temperatures reached triple digits. I would have to carry my cooler everywhere that I went, from tree to tree, from plant to plant, all by myself because there was no water provided to us. Carballo says she was able to manage the heat, but others have not been so fortunate. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, 815 U.S. workers died from heat stress from 1992 through 2017. Enough is enough. California Democratic Congresswoman Judy Chu introduced a bill on Wednesday that would expand protections for workers. A federal requirement that workers in high heat environments have paid breaks in cool spaces, access to water, and limitations on how long they can be exposed to heat. The bill would also require companies to train their employees to know how to respond to someone suffering from heat stress. What a simple gesture to provide water and shade. Arizona Democrat Raul Grialva says the bill protects all workers in every environment. In situations where they are working in, in factories and in buildings in which there is not enough cooling. Grialva says the House Committee on Education Labor will take up the bill on Thursday. In Washington, I'm Anna Warnicky.